what's going on y'all black king crew if if it seems like it's lagging i don't know what's going on but you know y'all can deal with it i apologize in advance if you do but black king crew season four episode two green eyes and moist lips the shade of that title right there and there had me fucking rolling okay but anyway we get into this episode let's just go back people by people duchess Duchess is so fucking draining. And I just, anymore, she is one of the main people that is such a disappointment to me. Such a disappointment to me in reality TV because when she first came on the scene, I was so hit. Like, I was a chilly to fucking Duchess in season one. I was like, y'all treating her bad as shit. You know, this bitch is a badass bitch. Y'all hating because she pretty and all this stuff. And, and so what if her lips ain't moist? So what if her lips ain't, um... Carmack sponsor, you know, so what? She's still doing her damn thing and y'all hating. And then somewhere in between that, that shit flipped and I said, well, goddamn, I see what the fuck y'all talking about because I can't stand the hoe right now. You know, it's like she's a walking pity party. She's a walking attention seeker. She wants people to feel so sorry for her and to be like, oh my God, Duchess, what's wrong? Because she'll walk into place like this. Oh... I don't even want to be where people don't like me. It's like, I'm an independent woman and I don't need this and I don't need that. But then I, I got to do what I got to do because I don't want to feel like I got to depend on this man. But then don't nobody like me. But how y'all doing? Why y'all not saying nothing to me? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Okay, that's how she... Pull that lip up sometime, you know? That's all I want you to do is to pull that lip up. Now, I got big ass lips. So, of course, mine's going to hang. What is your excuse? Okay? You just lazy with it. But, um, anyway, she just, she going to the police station. I guess she was trying to see what it is with, um, Caesar and his bail and all that stuff. So, basically, she's in her feelings because, you know, he's going to still be in there. I guess they weren't letting him out. Um, I don't know if they said a bail or whatever. And... She went on about her day. She had, this forces her to go back to Black, Black Ink. She like, the only reason why she was back up here is so she can get some money, you know, so that she can do what it is with her shop because her focus was supposed to be on Pretty and Ink. Okay, that's fine. But once again, if it wasn't for these cameras or whatever, and if you really didn't want to deal with these people, bitch, you could have went to another fucking shop that's even better than Black Ink up in Harlem. Or, or better yet, you could have went somewhere else in the whole state of New York, okay? Or better yet, you could have went to a whole different state, bitch, but you decided to come back to Black Ink where it's easy, it's comfortable, and you know you ain't really got to do much to get up in that bitch because you fucking the boss and because the cameras, that's how you gonna stay on camera and all that shit, bitch. You ain't fooling fucking me. Because I don't go no place where I don't feel comfortable, okay? Ain't no way in hell. Ashley will not step foot back up in this establishment. No, the hell she won't, all right? I will not help you guys make revenue while I'm making revenue myself. No, the hell I won't. No, it don't work like that, okay? And then she coming to the shop. And they was like, everybody was joking around with each other. Hey, <laughs> girl, yes. It's got my, yeah. And Donna and Scott, <laughs> oh, my God, you just touched my booty. What if I do this? Oh, it's like a reflex. You touch my back, I touch your tit. Okay, like, ah, da, da, da. we laughing. Ha, ha, what the hell is going on? And all of a sudden, you know, it was a fun atmosphere. Then here come Duchess. And here comes the shop. The fuck is she doing here? crickets okay this bitch come sit down they was like well hey, damn duchess where the fuck you come from i mean i came back up here and you know sis got arrested so he's still up in jail i mean it is what it is what's going on with pretty and ink you know i don't even want to talk about it until it's all the way finished or so whatever i said you couldn't just tell them, you know, everything's coming along again. You know, I got another space and all this stuff. I know you don't want to just broadcast the fact that you still owe money on some other stuff and expenses of, uh, is occurring and, and all this stuff. I know you don't want to broadcast that, but they would have understood that because that's what happens when you open up a business. Sometimes you see some unforeseen expenses that need to be, you know, <laughs> you got to uh, spend some more money on, okay? So, she wanted to keep that to herself. And I was like, I mean, technically, that's your right. You could do that. You don't need everybody up in your business. But, damn, they trying to start a conversation with your ass because you just sat there like you was waiting for them to open up your they mouth and to say hello to you first. And then, I don't know what's going on with Caesar. That's all I know. I really don't want to get into it. And they was like, okay. 
And most of them was thinking, why the fuck are you here? Because the last time we heard you was down in North Carolina. All right? And then she was like, um, Scott was like, well, Teddy is the manager. Okay? I'm still the receptionist. Walt does this. And, you know, Donna does this. And yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, fuck that bitch. Uh, she doing a calendar. She upset and in her feelings because me and Caesar was supposed to be doing this calendar together for Black Ink and Pretty in Ink. And it's like, now I just got to do it myself because he up in the um jail over baby mama shit. Never did I ever thought that I'd be in a relationship with somebody who got baby mama issues. Like, I didn't want to be in a relationship with somebody who was going to have all this drama going on. That I got to go bail them out and they doing this with child support. But bitch, in like the first or second ep- uh, season when y'all was together, you went to the courthouse with him. And you had to bail him out before, I believe. Like, come on, girl. You knew what the fuck was up. All right. And... She do. I'm like, girl, just do the photo shoot. It's not that hard. Like, quit whining. Quit fucking whining. Like, ugh. I'm this and I'm that. I ain't even supposed to be up here. These people don't even like me and all this stuff. And you wonder why, bitch. Because you's a fucking whiner. Okay? Uh, she meet up with Duchess. No, she meet up with uh Sky. Sky trying to get the low low on her and all this shit. She like, bitch, you left, but we still was friends. I don't know why you don't understand that we still friends. Sky did more than I would have did to the bitch. She invited her to come to Miami because y'all know she went down to Miami to go visit Dr. Miami to get her ass left and all that stuff to get her ass. She did a lot more than I would have did. Okay. Um, you pushing it, bitch. You, you and your lips, all the crust and the chips, they're pushing it. Okay. And I was just like, she she walked in there just like throwing me a pity party. I didn't want a pity party. Somebody just say, Duchess, what's going on? Do you want me to come lay your head on my tits? That's what she was acting like. Like, I just, I just don't get it. I don't. Trickle. No, I don't have time. So, um. Sky, she has this little party, this little get-together with a friend of hers, Donna, and I think another friend. And basically, they're discussing the fact that, you know, they all finna go down to Miami with her, these her people. And then she let them know that um she invited Duchess. Donna is like, Duchess? Donna is pissed off because she said that Duchess is not a real bitch. Duchess is a fake bitch, and I have to agree with you with that, Donna, Okay. Sky was like, I invited Donna because Donna is on her way to become, follow this logic, okay? Follow this logic because I think everybody got kind of the same logic with Cardi B, but we don't know how many dicks Cardi B didn't have and if she really had as many dicks as Donna, but I don't know. But, you know, this is some of the stuff that we kind of say about Cardi B, okay? So all of us that be rude for Cardi B, do we rule for Donna the same? They damn near the same, okay? The only thing is, one ain't stripping or one didn't strip. You know, not that we know of a Donna. We don't know what the fuck she even did before this tattooing shit and tried to hook on. But she was like, here goes Sky. I invited Donna because Donna is cool. You know, she she coming cool and all this shit. I got the chance to talk to her and all this stuff and get to know the real her. You know, she owned the fact that she fucked around with just about everybody in the shop, okay? And that's the real motherfucker to me. Like, she on her way. To becoming a real bitch. And I was like, is that how we think of Cardi B? I think that it. And, I, and I'm sitting here like, we kind of fucked up for that thinking. But I'm like, I followed the fucking shit. I was like, I, don't, I ain't going to say she a real bitch. But I mean, she real as fuck for, like, damn, am I a champion for her exit? That makes me question and look at myself like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't give a fuck, okay? Like, <laughs> it is what it is. I like who I like. You know, and Donna, she dumb as fuck, but she do own her shit. You know, she'll tell you she fucked the whole shop. I mean, it's on the damn camera. She can't lie about that because the footage don't lie. You know, and I'm like, all right, and you going to add another notch to your motherfucking belt? And just like y'all said in the comments, D- Duchess, when she going to try to say that shit about Donna taking advantage of her, Bitch, you was just trying to cover for the fact that you called this bitch all type of hoes and shit. And she did all this to the shop. And bitch, she just added your ass to the motherfucking list. Okay? That's all it is. And you a hoe too. So, girl, you can't tell me no difference. But Donna was like, well, my only issue is 
Duchess ain't no real bitch. Because, you know, I look back at the last season and you coming over there trying to comfort me when I was pregnant and I had lost my baby and everything. And you talking about, you know, a child that wasn't even here talking about he a bastard and all this stuff and your confessions and shit. I said, thank you, Donna. Fucking thank you, because that shit was wrong as fuck. I was livid when she said that shit. And she was like, fuck that bitch. I mean, you can be over there. I'm going to be over here. Don't fucking talk to me, because you ain't no real bitch. I said, Donnie, you better go off. I want you to say that to her motherfucking face. Okay? I can't see. I can't wait to see when the shit all the way go down, because, you know, over before the show came on, all on social media, they was going back and forth, and they was fighting each other. I think Dutch just pulled Donna wig off and all that shit. This camera is giving me the mm, tonight. But, um, anyway, moving on. I must gotta, uh, clear some fouls. That's probably why I was doing that. I'll do it later. But, um, anyway, <clears throat> after that, you know, Sky understood, but she was still like, that's my bitch, so, you know, we all gonna go. Okay, so we get this shit with, um, Puma. Puma has his new tattoo shop out called Art Inc. And Art Inc. Inc. or some shit like that. He's talking about all the struggles that he's been through and basically how if this don't go through, he's done. He's like completely done. And I understand that. This, and I have to apply Puma for just keeping on, keeping on, keeping on and not letting nothing stop him. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. Oh, he being disloyal. Oh, he doing this. Oh, that's fucked up. He going to start his own shop. Where in the bylaws does it say of humanity that... Just because we're friends or ex-friends that we can't both have shops or we can't both have businesses or whatever, okay? At this point in time, I don't even feel like Puma put the shop up because he's trying to be in competition with Caesar. I really do feel like he ain't even trying to fuck with him or think about him. You know, just like when the new tattoo artist Phoenix brought it up to him about what was going on with Caesar and him getting arrested and all that stuff. He was like, I ain't look at that shit. And I said, you probably didn't, but then again... You probably did because I sent it and I wasn't checking for it either. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And I just can't stand that Caesar and them has this mentality that how you going to open up a shop? That's <laughs> because he can open up a shop. You don't own the tattoo world. You don't own the tattoo shops in Harlem or anywhere else. Like, he can do that. You know, if you don't fuck with him, you don't fuck with him. Worry about your sales and your customers, okay? If you the shit as you claim to be, that's all. You shouldn't be threatening about this little shop, this newbie shop. You shouldn't be threatened at all, okay? You're so fucking insecure, Caesar. You're so insecure. And you show that every time somebody step ups to you. People are scared. You uh, you try to intimidate people so that they can shut the fuck up because you want to hold that I'm um, your boss and, and I'm the hiring, I'm the firing, all this shit. Child, get the fuck out of here. That's why your ass was in jail all that time. But um, anyway, moving on from that. Erica Badu did what? What happened? I gotta read that when I get off. Um, so he getting it, he getting it together, and he got three new tattoo artists. Of course, he got Sassy there. One was named Naeem or some shit like that. One was named Phoenix, and the other one was Amsterdam and Ink or some shit like that. One of them specializes in you know doing facial stuff and real life pictures and stuff like that, which was real nice. Okay, I must say. Puma got some talented ass tattoo artists. And then the other one, Phoenix, I think he, um, you know, attention to details and do a lot of stuff um, with people on darker skin and shit like that. And then, you know, you got the other one. It, it was just portraits and stuff like that. You know, so I was like, okay. And the Amsterdam dude, he's um, part owner with uh, Puma. And, you know, he had the dude that do the portrait, you know, to um, do a portrait of his daughter on his back or whatever motherfucker did y'all see i'm mad this camera i swear to god i apologize y'all it's 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 my camera it's not y'all in so y'all don't have to tell me that uh he did a portrait of the baby on his back but did y'all see when he took that shirt off and his hair his hair his back was so fucking hairy and it wasn't even like that regular like his back he had taco meat on his back and shoulders and i said Ugh. My God, if you was my nigga, I would have had to say, no, nigga, you better shave that shit. Go get, it's time for your monthly waxing twice a week, bitch, twice a week. Okay. Cause, um, I can't deal with this. I can't, I love you, but I cannot deal with this. You should love me for, no, not this flaw, not this flaw. Mm -mm, Cause you could change that for a minute. Not this flaw, putting them chucks all up in my bed. Hell no. Um, anyway, that was cute. 
But I was like, you really going to see it? No shade. I always wonder how and why darker skinned people, and don't get me wrong, because I love me some dark skin. I, I am very much attracted to dark skinned people. I don't know what it is. Like, the, it's beautiful. Like, just everything. Um, Like, shade, I don't give a fuck. But I just always wonder, why do darker skinned people get dark? Like, <laughs> Tattoo like this sometimes you can't even see it, but to each his own. And when you can see it, sometimes it look good. Like Tyrese, for instance, if you ain't looking the inside of the booklet of his um CD covers, okay, you got a little close to see that he got a little belly button tattoo. You know, he got a tattoo of a lizard or something on his arm, and I think that because I look a little close, look a little back. You know, still like that. Okay, fine. He doing daddy daycare too because Kwani, she has, he had to convince her to come back up from Atlanta to come back to New York. And so therefore she's working a nine to five and little baby got to stay with them, stay with him, you know, while, while, while she working and stuff. Fine. So we get back to the shop. Teddy then hired a new girl named Melody and she's a new tattoo artist. She's up from Florida. She got dreads, half her hair shaved, at least right here. Um, she's got green eyes. She is a pretty girl. She reminds me of Keely from 3LW. When you make it promises, promises, yes, her. Okay, that's who she reminds me of, all right? And she got the green eyes. She got everything, and she's cute. That's why they kept on saying her green eyes, and she do remind you of Duchess, but a cleaner version and a more likable version. And if you ask me, you know, she had a uh, bitch. She was talking to everybody. They showed her where she was set up. Donna, not Donna. Donna did come up in there. Donna was like, damn, bitch. Why the fuck you gonna hire uh, a new tattoo artist? And I'm right here. But she cute, though, so I guess it's all right. You went to girls. Bitch, I knew she was gonna ask that. She was like, my man, my fiance is locked up. So fucking around with pussy, that ain't really cheating. That's it is, girl. I don't know what world you live in, but if that's the arrangement y'all have, more power to you, bitch. <laughs> but in my world, that's cheating, okay? But uh, anyway... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> but anyway, so then here comes Sky. She uh, Melody was over there sketching out a tattoo or whatever. Sky comes up. <laughs> hey, Duchess. Melody looked up. She was like, "Oh shit, what the fuck is going on?" I thought she was Duchess, man. Look at your son. It's, it's like Duchess. Who the fuck are you? My name is Melody. How you doing? I'm half black. I'm half white and all this stuff. And my mom is from um, the country of Georgia. You know, I was like, you know, the state. Okay. And she's very country. And if y'all didn't know, it is a country called Georgia over there in um, Europe. But um, anyway, and my dad, he's from the rugged streets of New York. <laughs> I was like, all right, girl, you know. And then <laughs> here go the uh, uh, scab was like, I mean, son, she looked just like Duchess with green eyes and moist lips. It takes me out every time I hear that because even they know that that bitch lips be chapped as fuck. Okay? Look, let me tell you something. Duchess, you can make a lot of money if you get sponsored by um, CarMax. You really could. But um, anyway, so um, somebody that this drag queen, I think his name was H. Hollywood or A. Hollywood or whatever, he comes in, he's a bearded drag queen or whatever, Girl, I thought it was Donna at first until I thought she was playing a joke. No shade, because I did thought it was Donna, Donna dressed up or whatever. You know, just being funny and all that shit. Until I see that Donna was sitting down on the couch. So I was like, oh, this is really a real person. And then, oh, shit was looking like... you. He, he tried to stop his facial expressions and not make it so noticeable. But you could tell he was kind of... I'm not going to say 100% disgusted, but he was just like, ugh. And I was like, you got to chill on that, bro. I know, you know, sometimes we'll be around stuff that's uncomfortable and not, you know, that we used to or whatever. We got to control our facial expressions because whether you agree with it or not, you don't want to turn down clients and you don't want your shop or your, your name to get a bad reputation because you this and you that. You get what I'm saying? So watch that shit. You know, you may feel some way, but keep that shit inside. She go in the back, do a tattoo on his leg or whatever. And the shit was bomb. The, color, the colors pop and everything. And then, you know, they was talking about it. They had a little drink and all that stuff. Caesar finally gets out of jail. And when Caesar got out of jail, he comes to the shop and he sees Melody sitting there. He was like, who the fuck are you? And she's like, I'm Melody and I'm the new tattoo artist. Wait a minute, bruh. Let me tell you something. I don't know who hired you, but if you ain't get a call from me, you ain't tattooing nowhere. So you can get your stuff and you can leave. And it was just, and I understand where he's coming from. 
I'm the boss, I'm the owner, I do the hiring, I do the firing, and stuff like that. But you made Teddy your second in command, so you gave him the power and the right to do stuff in your absence, okay? So obviously, he did something that he thought that you would be okay with because you was absent. He couldn't get in contact with you because you were still in jail, and it was something that would have benefited the shop at the time. He wasn't doing something that would have hurt the shop. He did something that would benefit the shop, all right? He hired a much more talented tattoo artist, okay? And that's what y'all need, all right? You in jail for how many days? I don't know, but you was in jail for more than one day. Y'all weren't really getting business. The girl that you was tattooing, she was pissed the fuck off because, you know, she was like, oh my God, I came down here to get this. And look at what it is. It's halfway done. I come back to California for this. I would have been pissed too, okay? But it... <laughs> You know, it pissed me off the way that Caesar came barging up in there with this attitude. I know, bro, you just got out of jail. You just got out of jail. Take your ass home and go take a nap or something. Take a motherfucking shower. Come recharge and then come back to work. Okay? Come back to work with a clearer head. All right? At least call Teddy and be like, I'm out. You know, I'm, I'll be there tomorrow. You know, do some shit like that. Don't just come out and be in because you still in a bitch mode because you pissed about what happened, you know, and then you take it out on people that you don't even know. And then you take it out on Teddy because Teddy started telling your ass the motherfucking truth and you couldn't handle that shit. And they're going to tell Medley to leave. Medley, he was like, I don't even know your work. I don't know this. I don't know that. She was like, I'll let you know that. Okay, I'm like one of the best tattoo artists that came up in this bitch. And I was like, you 100% correct. Because I don't give a shit what y'all got to say. That one tattoo that Melody did, mind you, that was the only tattoo that we really saw from Black Ink. Okay, that we um saw on the show. And it came up 42 minutes later into the show. I said, what the fuck? That was the best tattoo I've seen since the very beginning of this show. And I'm talking about episode one of season one. That was that. Her tattoo shitted on everything else that ever came out of Black Ink. The technique, the, the crispness, the crispness of it, the brightness of it, the cleanness of it, okay? It just looked good. It popped. It, it, my eyes went right to it, okay? All the colors and everything. And you got the nerve, oh, you don't know what been coming through this dough. Shit shit and she was like man i don't have to deal with this it was disrespectful like she said and i was on her side the whole time and i was on teddy's side when he was like bitch how the fuck you gonna come up in here pissed off at me because i hired somebody else doing something that you told me to do you put me in command okay so what the fuck am i supposed to do you got rid of somebody who was bringing in money she was the only one who was bringing in money while you was gone okay you just let money walk out the door because ain't nobody been coming here all right? You've been locked up, so how the fuck I'm going to tell you what's going on? You gave me this job, so let me do this job. And what's your problem is, you disrespectful and you don't like it when people come back at you. And she came back at your ass. And you weren't ready for it. And he like, who the fuck this nigga think he is talking to me like this? I'm Caesar, okay? I'm the king of this castle. So I can hang and fire. You're not invincible, though. You can't do it all. Obviously. Nigga, at one point in time, you couldn't even pay the motherfucking bill to keep the light and the heats on. Okay? So, shut the fuck up. Shut it up. All right? And then, I was just like, I, I, if he even go back and try to rehire Melody, I hope she don't take it. Because, baby, you don't deserve that. You do not deserve that. And, um, you know, they doing all that shit. And, you know, Caesar talking to Duchess about what was going on and talking about how his baby mama crazy and you know she put out she wanted some more money and they put out a warrant or whatever because she was supposed to serve me and I supposed to come to the, um come to court about it and I never got served the paper so they put out a warrant for my arrest and all because she's stalking me and she crazy and this listen it is some spiteful baby mamas out there but I hate when motherfuckers especially niggas like him get on tv and try to make it seem like you have no absolute part in doing some of the stuff and the reason why she come at your ass. Okay, bitch? Listen, if you ain't doing, obviously you really weren't doing right. Okay? And yeah, I know. I know sometimes these niggas do be doing right. And like I said, they got some spiteful baby mamas. But Caesar like to play victim all the time. He do. He do. Like he built on an up and up with his child support from day one and he hasn't. He hasn't because you wouldn't have been in the first situation. Okay? It wouldn't have never got to this situation if you were. But um, anyway, this video is long enough. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.